Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 1350's recap. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this would be great help and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I think it's only fair to start from giving a disclaimer that I just did some skincare <laughs> and that's why my skin is so red here and my eyes are red. I think I might have a little bit of allergic reaction to it, but just a tiny bit. Anyway. We finally finished 1350s and it has been extremely, extremely challenging decade. There were some pluses and minuses. So before I like show you everything, let me just give you some summary. First of all, we were trying our best to recover from the black plug. And in general, this whole decade can be described as trying to overcome the aftermath of the, of the black plug. It was very difficult and we lost many, many families. We lost many, many presents in many countries. And we're just trying our best, but it's not looking very well now. And I'm pretty sure that in the future we might have a high chance of possibly changing the air family, uh, which will be still Greenwood, but it will be not direct line from the previous three airs. Anyway, so let's see where were we this time shall we first of all uh, we started still with gilbert as an heir and as you can see here in 1356 he died he passed and richard his son became an heir but by this time richard has already lived most of his young adult life so basically in 1358 he became an adult saying that i am still trying very hard to get to the point where richard has more than one male heir and it's not working. I think they are now at fifth child and it's always girls, except for one whose name is Gregory. From other important deaths, let's just go through it. Uh, Tomax Colette died, so we kind of lost our Colette presence in France. Randall died, so Grace couldn't continue her baby tries. And actually their only last daughter just uh, rolled to never get married, Christina. So this family doesn't have a continuation to it as well. Brittany Lambert Jackson died, but like right before Justin became a teen. So then Justin is a teenager. They are the family on the right on my thumbnails. And then his younger brother Nicholas died. So Justin is now all by himself and he married. He married um, a girl named Lisa. They had two children and Lisa died during childbirth. Then Emma died. All of her family died. All of her children and husband died during Black Flag. And then this uh, decade also she died. Edith Greenwood died. Eunice died. <laughs> like um, Elizabeth, who is um, was wife of Adam, died as well. So many, many, many important for gameplay sims died. And somehow always the sims that don't change our gameplay, sims who roll to never get married, for example, they pull through which is always very questionable thing to me. Now let's go to the Sims info and check further. So as you can see, I currently have 41 alive Sim and by now 1,182 Sims already died. And that's crazy. We have much less males than females. Well, on this chart, you can see that all of the Sims with different nationalities, for example, we mostly have British and British Scottish mix, but also French seems are kind of up there. Age of death, here you will see that uh, usually we lose babies, or adults or young adults. And you can see a generation of offspring, uh, we kind of, I guess we're still in the middle of Gen 4 and we already have children from Gen 5, which I will update after this video here. But basically we know, we're not in the same spot as Gen 3. We just started um, 100 War Part well, one part three, and I need to put all the sims unlisted here, but nobody died yet. In the previous one died two sims, which were Alexander Goth and Terence Cornwell, but I assume they had died in action, but actually they died from plug. And currently the sims that went to the war are Peter Lambert Jackson, Robert Goth, Benedict Greenwood, Martin de Garg, and Dennis Greenwood. Yeah, and that's kind of it for this part. Now let's go and check family tree. Family tree is huge and it doesn't fit anymore to look all at once. I mean, you can open it potentially, but you wouldn't really see anything there. But anyway, you can see that this Richard here is my current heir and this is all of his children and this is his son Gregory. And they just had a daughter, 
Alice who died, died unfortunately or fortunately because it gave us space in the household to try for another baby and I'm really hoping it's another boy. Then you can see that Adam's wife Elizabeth died but they have only Osbert and Isolde living currently and Dennis and Bridget lost all of their babies and Dennis went to war again as well, so this part I don't even consider anymore as potential. I also want to highlight that Gilbert had a younger brother, Simon, who is right here, who married who married Luna from Villarreal family, they both passed, but they had a son, William, who married Dina, and they had four children, and unfortunately all of the remains of their children died in this decade. So we cannot go back anymore to Simon's kids as a backup, you know, we literally are kind of stuck with Richard, Gregory and then Adam and Osbert for the air options and it's very little in my opinion, it's kind of scary. And basically if all of this will not come out well, we're in <laughs> very big problem because the rest of my family is um, kind of going through the same thing and everyone is dying and nobody is really continuing. The one family that goes very strong so far would be the Lumber Jacksons, the one that was Britney Spears was married into. They had son Justin and Justin currently has a son called Alfgar and a daughter called Britney who he's raising by himself but then he is very up there to become the heir in future potentially so I'm keeping him around. I started this new presentation for which you will find the link in the description down below in case you want to see it but this will be my presentation related to the, all the heirs and their portraits and I hardly use the new Photoshop AI feature to make those like to I basically AI generated those frames and the backdrops for them like here was kind of green velvet here was a medieval bedroom and here was medieval street and um, yeah, I use a lot of AI options to make those, but of course some editing, classic editing by hand is also in place. I'm kind of trying to make it look old, you know, if it makes sense, but still colorful since we are anyway in the modern ages. And you can see that Adam Greenwood was an heir from, from 1300 to 1324. And on the bottom you see his, the, his dates of birth and death. Then we have Greenwood, uh, then we have Gilbert, who took over from 1324 to 56. And now we have Richard, who took over in 1356. And we don't know until when, and we don't know when he will be dying, because it didn't happen yet. The only thing I'm happy about is they all kind of have the same eye, eye color, at least. Because the hair, we never went back yet to Adam's hair. Of course, another one of my important presentation to do for this challenge is kind of a story of the family in pictures and this precise presentation is for 1300 so you can find it in the, in the description down below and this always highlights in this backdrop the main household and the heirs but you basically can open any sim and you can see their progress in my game who their children of and when they will die when they died and uh, when they were born and for example, for Gilbert, our previous there, you can see here all of these stages as well. And you will note it by the backdrop color. And I keep updating the list of all the Sims dying. Of course, with the black flag, a lot of Sims died. But even though after that as well, many, many Sims are dying all the time. And the challenge is becoming basically quite scary place. <laughs> not lying. I'm not gonna show you um, another one which is the photo album but I will link it in the description down below. It's random screenshots I take during uh, gameplay or during the streams so you can check it out by yourself if you're interested. And yes officially from this decade on my streams I did create a reward system which called jungles and you earn points my currency let's say by watching my stream and then you can use it for different things and so far i added two gifts one is you can basically redeem a possibility to propose a name for any side household which is very cheap and another one which is slightly more expensive let's say maybe not watch my stream for 10 minutes but for 40 minutes um, you can um, propose a name for the main household. If you have any ideas how to make it even more entertaining and collaborative, I am super open for it. Please feel free to let me know in the comments. Now let's go a little bit in the game and I'll show you the state we're at. 
Also, in this decade, it's the decade when I added pets in the game, but I still haven't had a pet. I was trying to see if I am able to have a second boy in my main household, and if I do and we have space, then I will be taking a dog. But let's quickly go world by world and see what's left here. So we start with Willow Creek, England part, which is the whole part on the left of the screen, the one that I don't cover with my face. Uh, we start with the side household, this is William's kids, as I told you, they will not be continuing because their children died. Then Lumber Jackson, this is potentially, so we have Thomas here, but potentially this family will continue because his son Peter is currently enlisted in war. And if he comes back safely, he will get married and this is like an option. Basically, Peter might inherit the household right after Justin. And Justin lives here with his two children. One is Alfgar and another one is Brittany. Then here we have a big mix of goth. They are not all from the same parents. It's just everyone in goth family died. So Edric and Dita are the goth family now. But we have Gemma, we have Eva, Bridges, Bella, Gunilda and Stefan. From my memory, I think maybe Gunilda and Stefan are their children. Gemma, Eva and Belle and Bella are not their children, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> to, to make it, uh, but it's hard. Then we have the Greenwood side, we basically are left with Zoe. This is Zoe Patel who married into my household. The husband Benedict is at war, but they're all to never get married. And then those two families were kind of next to, but now not anymore because Grace lost her husband and her daughter, only surviving her daughter Christina, all to never get married. Then on top here I have Scotland and I also have the war base behind me with five sims in there. We will just exclude it from narrative for the moment. In this big house under me we have Mrs. Brooks, we have her from day one in the game. She serves as a nanny or just hosting different sims in case I need to kill someone that is alone, for example, in the house. So she brings the gravestones or takes care of the kids. Brings to graveyard, obviously. Then we have... Oh no, sorry. That on top was Ireland. And this on top is Scotland. And we have Richard's household here. Both of those guys, Williamas and Macduff, rolled to never get married. Therefore, they're there alone <laughs> and we're just waiting for them to die off and I will restart my Ireland and Scotland adventures in the next decade. Now, in Oasis Springs, we used to have Spain on the left and Italy on the right and I just restarted Italy again. We have Rocca family and here we have Paolo, Lina and Marco. And they only roll to have two pregnancy chances and they already used them up and the result is Marco. So we are praying that Marco stays because I really want to have an Italian part of the family. Now in France, which is my Magnolia promenade, we lost everything. So you can see here it's kind of a mixed family. We have Max Villarreal, he's kind of left alone, all of his children died. So he came to France to take care of Christiane and her older sister Isabel. Isabel since passed away together with her husband, but they left two daughters. So they have Plante and Gillette. Uh, Christiane's husband Martin is actually at war and um, she still has some pregnancy chances. So I'm pretty sure when, like, when he's back from war, they will try for the babies. Otherwise she's taken care as an auntie of her little nieces. And I mean, I, le I just left Max there since he actually ate, well, kind of was raising Christian and Isabel. So it makes sense. But anyway, this is not a success story in France whatsoever. And that's all the extra worlds I'm currently using. The next one would be Hanf Hanford on Bailey where I had this whole plan of using four of my boys, one boy here, one boy here, here and here. One of them died in the black flag, so I was le left with three. Now we have that one, that's where Danny sleeps and they have no more pregnancy chances with his wife. So he's at war. Then here we have Adam and his two children, Osbert and Isolda and his wife Elizabeth just passed away and now we have our main household here which is very ginger and I'm pretty sure in case Gregory survives uh, we will have a ginger heir next time but basically Richard and Julia, Julia is his second wife 
and this is the kids they have so far and Julia is currently pregnant for the last time because then I'm planning to take a dog and I'm eating lots of carrots to make sure that she's gonna have a boy just in case we need a second boy that's how I think well and that would be it for this past decade it was as you can see like we are shrank down like it was a very different experience a couple of decades ago and now the game is just like so su it's like super small and I kind of enjoy it because I feel like I get to restart and I really feel challenged in many ways and I can see how game truly pushes more girls to be born rather than boys so anyway guys I hope you're enjoying this series on my channel if you do please don't forget to click like subscribe and leave a comment and also follow me on Twitch and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye